Let's learn about type assertion. So what is type assertion? Type assertion is like typecasting if you're familiar with the term, but in TypeScript it can be used to specify or override another type. So in this example, TypeScript only allows the form element to return some kind of HTML element or null from the query done by the document get element by ID, meaning we can't use some of the built-in form methods. So for example, you query some element, say form element, and then whatever you use to query it, document get element by ID, and then you query it. But now if you hover over form element, you can see that form element is HTML element or null. So forms have a reset method on them, but here we won't get any auto completion, right? And we might even have to use the optional chaining operator if we're unsure the value exists, which is equivalent to, if you don't know, which is equivalent to form element. So we're checking if form element exists and then we short circuit, we can just say form element reset, right? So how do we fix this? So to use this, we have to be specific. So we can use the as keyword and we can say as. So how do you know what type to use? So you can just use the power of your editor, start typing HTML. So what do you want in this example? You want form and boom, here it is, easy as that. So now if we hover over form element, we can see that the type is HTML form element. So if we type form element, we can use the reset method or any of the form methods that exist. But be careful with this because with great power comes great responsibility because as does to thing. So it says the TypeScript compiler what a specific type is. You're saying like, hey TypeScript, I know more than you. All right, chill for a sec. And the other thing it does, it says that the value can't be null. So only use this when you have to because you could be lying to the TypeScript compiler that the value exists. Another interesting thing is that where do all these types come from, like these are global types, but what are they based on? So this is really useful to know because it gives you a complete idea of how TypeScript works. So these come from the browser API, for example, and the browser API has all the base classes, for example, HTML element is the base interface and etc. that extends HTML form element. So if we go to the web APIs here and we search for HTML element, sure enough, we can find it among other suspects. And then you just go down to the properties and then you can go on forever. So the TypeScript types are based really on these standards and that's where it comes from. So you can always find these types on MDN and you can even learn more about the web this way, or you can dive into the types yourself. So remember previously how I said that you can use, uh, depends on your editor, is it control or alt? For me, it's alt and if I click on it, I can find the type here, HTML form element, and you can even learn about these different values and properties. It's literally like having MDN docs in your editor, which is awesome, right? So another method you can do is, let's say, if I remove this, and if you use this scary pointy voice, you can say HTML form element, and this is equivalent, but this is really discouraged because this clashes with React and JSX, so just use the S keyword, which works the same, and it's even more readable. So yeah, and this might be even confusing because it's really not a generic. Yeah, so just say S, HTML form element, boom, done. So let's go further in the post. I think I want to cover events, how we can use type assertion there. So let's say, for example, you have some input field and then you have Pokemon input element and then you query it, whatever, right? Get element by ID, Pokemon, and then you can say S, HTML, input element, right? Because it's an input element, boom, done. Simple as that. Use your editor and the power of TypeScript. So we can add an event listener to it. You say add event listener input. Look at this awesome auto completion. And then we can say event and let's just say handle input just so we have something, whatever, right? And then we can create it. We can say function handle input event. So what most people would do at this stage, if you hover over event, it's like any, and they're like, oh, oh my God, no. Why is TypeScript so hard? I need to look at Stack Overflow. I have no idea what type of event this is. Help me someone, right? <laughs> Screw TypeScript. But it's really simple than that. So you can obviously look it up and you're going to find an answer maybe, but look at this pro tip. So your editor is really smart. So the only thing you have to do, hover over the event and you can see what type it is. So it's an event and you can just use that type. There you go, pro tip right there. But let's move on to the type assertion example. So for example, you want a value from the input and if you say event target value, that's where you're going to freak out because first it has no idea what the event target is. It's like, listen, this can be possibly null. Like I have no idea what's going on here. And then it has no idea that value exists on it because it really has no idea about the type. 
So how can we fix this? So if we go here, we can first specify. It's a bit more verbose, but I can argue also that it's more readable. Target element, and we can say event target, and then we can use the exclamation mark even to say, hey, this can be null. So we can say s, what do we want? You start typing, use the help, HTML input element. Boom, done. Wow, is this even coding, right? Wow, is this GitHub Copilot? I don't know. It's not that awesome, but maybe, but... <laughs> yeah, so we can say target element, and then we can say value or whatever we want. Like, this is really awesome. So let me just see something. Oh yeah, of course, because we can do this. But yeah, now if you hover over this, it says HTML input element. And how awesome is this? And the exclamation mark is even redundant because as I said, as means that this can be undefined. So make sure to be responsible when using this. You don't have to keep this knowledge in your head. So let TypeScript and your editor help you figure out what type to use. So let me just reiterate over this. We have window, let's add an event listener, mouse over just for funsies. And we can have an event, which is double arrow, nice. <laughs> what does it mean? And then we can go to the touch move, for example. And again, if you lose auto completion, just press control space. That's at least my keyboard shortcut. And then we can say key up. And then again, as I told you, just use the power of your editor. Event is mouse event, touch event, and keyboard event. So a lot of these times these are going to be logical, but sometimes they're not. So you can just look it up and let your editor help you. All right, so let's see what's next on the agenda. So we cover this and yeah. And I already mentioned type assertion using the exclamation mark, which is redundant if you're using as, but you can use that also if you want, just so you're aware of it. But let's talk about type assertion conversion, which is the fun one, because you can do some really stupid things if you want to. TypeScript uh, tries to prevent you from doing stupid things, but of course it's your life and you can do what you want, right? So for example, if we say Pikachu, what happens if we say is number? Well, first we're going to get an error. It's going to say conversion of type string to type number. Maybe a mistake because neither type sufficiently overlaps with the other. But then TypeScript is like, hey, if you want to shoot yourself in the foot, here is how you do it. So it says, if this was intentional, convert the expression to unknown first. Don't mind if I do with TypeScript. And then you can say as unknown as number. And this works. <laughs> so if we hover over Pokemon, it says it's a number. And then if you say Pokemon to fix, you're going to have a fun time in production. <laughs> so yeah, so TypeScript only allows type assertions that convert to a more specific or less specific version of a type, unless you go out of your way to shoot yourself in the foot. So I hope you learned something and catch you in the next one.